One of the best ways to expand your audience is by adding foreign subtitles or closed captions to your videos. That's what we talk about today. Here we go! Hello and welcome back to another video. I'm Alan Spicer, your YouTube certified expert. If you're looking to start a YouTube channel, grow your YouTube channel, then why not add foreign subtitles to help build your audience internationally? I have a predominantly English speaking audience, but I do have a lot of people that watch me in the Philippines, in India, in Canada, in Germany, in France, and many other locations. And the best way I can help them is by adding foreign subtitles to these videos to help them read along. Either they can read the English subtitles and learn English, or they read their native language and still understand what the video is all about. It's also a great way of adding additional metadata to your video that gives YouTube something extra to search, index, and rank you based on exactly what in your video, the spoken word. So with me and my friends at Rev, I'm gonna take you to the computer and show you how quick and easy it is. Okay, so for this, I use Rev.com. Now, it's the same company that I use for my normal captions, at only $1 a minute. So if you want it in English, it's quite simple. I'm gonna flash up a video in the iCard. In fact, if you translate in English subtitles and then use foreign subtitles, you'll get the English subtitles for free. But go to foreign subtitles and you'll see this screen. Now you can upload a video that's not already online and it will do some captions for you. You can paste your specific video's URL or in my case, I use this thing down here that pulls your videos directly from your account. So I click YouTube video. Once you are signed in, it will pull up all of your recent videos. It will show you all of your videos. It'll even put CC in the bottom if it's got subtitles. All of my subtitles are English on these unless they've been contributed by members of my community. I can flick through them. So my most recent ones, and it will load it accordingly. It will render up the thumbnail so you can pick specific ones, or you can hunt out specific videos. So I'm gonna go and do foreign subtitles on some of my highest performing videos. So I've searched up here, rough keywords, delete on mobile, because I know this one here has got around about 200,000 views. So I'm going to select this one. Once again, I know this one's doing fairly well, so I'll select this one. And I can keep flicking through until I've selected all of the ones that I want to do. And you'll see at all times up here, it says three selected. So basically it keeps track of them, even though you're searching elsewhere. And then you add to cart. In the cart section, Unlike the English version here, you can pick what specific language you want. So Spanish, Korean, Polish, Portuguese, Russian, Turkish, and then Spanish, Latin, Arabic, Chinese simplified, traditional Czech, Dutch, Japanese, Italian, Hindi, German, French, and you'll have a specific price per hour next to it. So you see here that my top countries are the US, United Kingdom, India, Philippines, Canada. So I suggest that I'll go with an Indian language like Hindi or Urdu, Right, or Filipino, or Canadian French, that kind of thing. So I go back, and here you go. If I select Hindi, and it will be three pound or three dollars per minute at how many minutes there is. So that's thirty-six dollars. Right, you'll scan down. It will tell you how you can deliver. So once again, subrip, right? Or it could be any of these. It could be Facebook captions. It can be web TV captions. It can be a transcript. Or you can always go back and download those anyway because they do them all at the same time, right? I've also always selected automatically deliver these subtitles back to YouTube. So they'll send you an email. And then when you're done, you click checkout. They will confirm how you're wishing to pay. So in this case, I'm using a Visa debit card or you can use a PayPal account. I'll use my PayPal account. And now here, it will ask like, is there any additional information that you could help them with? For example, is there a speaker name? Is there any glossary details that you need to know? So for example, it's an interview. If not, you can leave it free and, and clear. It's perfectly fine. But at this point, you just leave it be and they will send you an email. And then when you get that email, you can process the captions. So don't be fooled. Some of them will be in English, some will not. In this case, once again, because I chose Hindi, I click through, I finally find ones that actually have Hindi. I obviously can't check it, that's a fantastic thumbnail, but you'll see here, it's all filled in in Hindi. I then click upload to YouTube, upload my captions, and it is done. You can also see here, toggling between English and Hindi. But if you want to add your own subtitles, there's a playlist right here. Go out there, start creating.